so here we are the last full week of school in 2020 who would have thought I wanted to do a video especially for the fifth graders because on our very last day of art on a normal school year I would save probably the last five to eight minutes and I would leave you with some Mrs. Holloway wisdom. I try to jam pack all that wisdom from six years into five minutes. Things that I have I taught you, have I taught you in this time that we've had together? I always panic. I always worry um, and usually you know what it has nothing to do with art that's that's what life's about it's about way more than what we're learning here at school I think you guys have a real head start on that because of what we've just been through um, I could tell you stuff like um, <laughs> nothing is ever the way you expect it to be. Well, not nothing, but because nothing and never, always and never, don't use it, okay? So that's one of my advice because there's always a sometimes in there, all right? There's, there's those gray values. I'm gonna bring that art in there. I told you it wasn't anything to do with art, but I have to pull it in there because it's Mrs. Holloway. So as I would normally, have this chat with you guys in this room, um, I would play a song. Now, copyright laws prohibit me <laughs> from playing that song for you and posting this on YouTube. So, because another thing is follow the rules, except when you don't. Ask forgiveness. Sometimes that works too. All right, so I hope that advice is okay. But usually, follow the rules. I'm a rule follower. That's important stuff. Um, so the ramblings of a crazy art teacher here. Um, I have had you for six years, many of you. Um, that's what I love about my job so much. I get to teach you from kindergarten through fifth grade. And I would usually tell you, you will never have another art teacher for six years unless you go on, even if you go on in art um, and go on into college, most likely you're not gonna have the same art teacher for that many years in a row. So that's a, that's a blessing and a curse. I know some of you are thinking that right now, going, oh yeah, I've had Mrs. Holloway for six years. But I, get to watch you grow. And I remember so many of you when you were in kindergarten, some of you with tears, I'm thinking of somebody in particular, um, who has just grown so much. I remember some of you, oh gosh, you guys in particular, holy cow. I remember there was a smock hanging from the ceiling right over there because one of you we're swinging it around and I said, please don't do that. And <laughs> yeah, it got caught in the ceiling tiles. So, you know, there's just, there's fun memories. There's sad memories. There's happy memories. And I look around in, at each one of these tables. That's why I wanted to do this video here is because I can look around at each one of these chairs and I can visually see who would sit there. Um, I'm gonna make myself cry. <laughs> usually I make the fifth graders cry in these video, or I usually don't do it in a video in these um, talks, but I can sit around and I know who sat here and who sat there. And sometimes I get your names all mixed up because somebody else sat in that chair in another class, another period, and I call you by the wrong name by mistake, or 
in the hurry of it all. But um, I want you to know that this has meant a lot to me and that you guys hopefully are different people because you went here to Jefferson Avenue School. Um, I hope that you come back and visit. Um, I wanna tell you a little story. I had a student come back this year, as a matter of fact, right before we closed down. And this young man, he was in high school. It was him and his brother, both of them came back. I taught them both. But this one young man, he was a hoot. Let me just tell you, he walked in and he said, Mrs. Holloway, do you remember me? <laughs> and I said, oh, how can I forget you? <laughs> so come back and visit. It means a lot to your teachers and hopefully it'll mean a lot to you too. Um, I usually, back to that song that I usually play, um, hopefully you can go and listen to it on your own. But I was listening to it last night and my gosh, the words, the lyrics in this song are even more oh, important now. Um, so I'm gonna read you some of the words. Hopefully YouTube doesn't shut me down because I'm reading you some of the words. I'm trying to be a rule follower here. Um, but the song that I would play you is sung by Kristen Chenoweth, and um, it's called, I Was Here. And it goes like this. You will notice me, I'll be make, leaving my mark, like initials carved in an old oak tree. Just wait and see. Maybe I'll write like Twain wrote. Maybe I'll paint like Van Gogh. Cure the common cold, I don't know, but I'm ready to start cause I know in my heart. I wanna do something that matters, say something different, something that sets the whole world on its ear. I wanna do something better with the time I was given. I wanna touch a few hearts in this life, leaving nothing less than something that says, I was here. The song goes on and says even more wonderful things about fighting for world peace and just being you and being true to you and making your mark here on this earth. Um, and that is my wish for you, fifth graders. So, bottom story, bottom line, go out there, make a difference, be you, and I hope that I've been able to teach you just a little something about art along the way. Um, maybe even if you don't go on and, and do art, um, but hopefully you can have an appreciation for the world around you and art that you see. Um, and stop every once in a while and think of JA. Think of uh, all your teachers. Think of how they have tried to leave their mark on you and how you have left your mark on them. So I wish you all the best and come back and visit. And I love you all. So bye from now. <laughs>